Hey everybody, today I'm going to ha uh, give you a quick how-to video for using these edge punches. Um, I've been using edge punches in my planner for several months now. Um, and as you can see here, I use them to decorate my dashboards. So for each section in my planner, I have a dashboard with a tab and then a decorative dashboard behind it. Um, and then there's my monthly and then here's my weekly, same thing. And I really love using the edge punches because I think they just add something really pretty to my planner. I like seeing the little edge peek out and you can also use them for decorating. Um, for example, right here on this pocket, I used uh, an edge punch to decorate the edge of my pocket. So I'm gonna show you uh, this be great for scrapbooking or planning or card making like they're very versatile so I'm going to show you some basics about the punches how they work and then give you a few tips for using them so this particular one is from scrap berries um, I have several here from Fiskars uh, this one is also Fiskars but it's a different color I don't know why it just is but you'll see that they all are similar in that they have a handle that you press down on, which makes the pattern. And the actual punch is right here in the middle. If you look at the back side, you can see the metal part where the punch is. And then you also see some pattern extending out on the board on either side. And that's so that you can line it up to get a perfect, uh, get a perfect unbroken pattern down your edge. Um, I'm gonna show you how to punch a nice unbroken edge with this. And I think I'll use this one, cause why not? So you'll see, first of all, on the left side, actually on both sides, there's a straight line right here where the pattern ends. And all of the punches have that. This one is this gray right here. This one right here. And this one, it's harder to see because it's sort of silver, but there it is. If I can get it in the light, see right there. And that's so that you know where to put your first, where to line up your paper for the first punch. So I'm gonna use just a piece of scrap paper from my stash. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna slide this all the way in. There's a little ledge right here that stops the paper. And then I wanna slide it over until it just covers that edge mark. And then right here, you punch. So this is what you end up with. Let me move this out of the way. You have one punch that's like in the middle of your page and you're like, okay, well, how does that do me any good? Well, what you do is, there's the little scraps. What you do is you notice, first of all, how many, how many, um, what's the word I want? How many patterns I guess you have here? Do you see how there are three big circles with three little circles next to them? So you're gonna to wanna to keep that in mind. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the leftmost pattern edge and now you're gonna put that one on the punch so that it lines up right where you punched already, all right? You keep this side, make sure it's up against the edge and then you punch again. All right, now we have six in a row. Now here's where it was important to remember that we that one punch gave you three, because now you're gonna wanna line up this circle, okay? One, two, three from the left edge, right there. And as you punch, it's easy to kind of skew this. All right, you see what's happening here? So you wanna be really careful that you cover that pattern completely and then push the right side so that it's up against, the, the paper's up against the backing. Punch again, okay, take a look. Now if I needed to, I could punch another one here or I could just cut the paper off. Now for this end, I need to use the other side of the punch. So again, one, two, three, I'm gonna go in three bubbles. This punch, by the way, is called bubbles. Make sure that it lines up with the pattern perfectly and punch. So what you're gonna notice when you punch your paper is unless your paper is exactly the right size, you're gonna have one side, the left side, that's perfect. It starts with one whole punch pattern. The right side may not, and that's because it depends on how long your paper is to be able to get that exact, get it to cut off right at the exact size. This is the point at which I would trim my page. So if I needed, 
you know, if I needed it five inches or I needed it six inches or whatever, I would measure and see where that, where that, um, where that fell and then I would trim there. Sometimes you may have to trim inside the pattern and you can't help it. So for example, on my pages here, see how I had to trim halfway through a flower at the beginning? This, so this flower, when I first punched, was whole because the left side is always whole. But in order to make the right side, when I punched all the way down to the bottom, the right side was, um, was a perfect half like this. So what I ended up doing was just trimming off the first half of the flower here so that it matched on both sides. So you might have to get a little creative with your trimming to make it turn out the way that you wanted to, but that's okay. Uh, these punches do not have a little thing on the back to catch all the, to catch all the little stuff. So you just end up having to sweep that off and away. Okay, let me show you how it works on another one. So this particular punch, the whole, this whole little scallop will come off and you'll see. On the other punches, you notice there's a strip of paper here that ends up, you end up just sort of, you know, that comes off when you trim your paper. Um, but with this particular punch, and I can go right there to the edge of the, again, the edge of the pattern. All right, you see how that, it comes off like this. The cool thing about this one is that you can use these little pieces as trim on another piece of paper. So like on my planner in June, I did like this on my pocket. I also did put them on, I glued them on the edges like this of my dashboards so that the pattern would stick out. And that was really cool looking because June was the month uh, that I had all the animal prints and, um, and floral prints and it was really cool to have the paper and the edge be a little bit of a different pattern. That was very cool. And I guess I didn't realize, yes, there's gonna be a, a piece of this that uh, comes off as well. But now you notice here, I have five, five little divots. So when I'm, the second punch is not a problem. I'm gonna line it up right here. And again, make sure the right edge is against the, the block here. All right, but then when I go to figure out, okay, where does the next one go? I need to count in five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's the one that's gonna go right there. That will ensure that I don't double punch an area that I've already punched um, so that there's no, problem with accidentally punching twice and maybe getting the pattern off. Same thing here, one, two, three, four, five. That's gonna go there and just line it up. And there you go. So that's an interesting looking edge. When I bought this punch, I was hoping that it would have a scallop edge with the scallop on the outside like this, but it didn't. So what I ended up doing, like I said, was I punched all these edges and then you can always just take your paper trimmer, trim off the paper to make a straight line, and then glue these edges back on. Or this kind of actually looks like water to me, it looks like waves. This would be good for a, a, like a pool layout or something like that. All right, so um, that's pretty much all there is to it. I'm going to show you also an example for decorating. So let's use the florals. Line it up. All right, there are three, three flowers there. This one, you have to be really kind of, there's a lot of little pieces here, so getting it lined up again can be interesting, but you wanna be able to see that foil through there. All right, one, two, three, slide it up again. two, three, almost to the end. Getting this last one lined up is kind of a little bit dicey. Ah, there it is. Especially with this one that's got the, is foil printed. I prefer the ones like this where it's like a, an actual like matte color. And then the last one will go here.
There we go. Okay. And lots of little things to go in the trash. Now, what I would do with this now is I would take my paper trimmer and trim off this edge. Like so. And then I could use that edge to trim another piece of paper like this. And you see I'm going to probably want to trim off a little bit right here. You see how there's a tiny, see how there's a tiny little piece of paper right there sticking off. So I'd want to trim that off right there where I didn't have it lined up quite right. But that would make a really pretty trim either like this or even like that. Lots of possible ways to do this, guys. I hope that I have given you a few um, ideas for how to use these little punches, either in your planner or in your scrapbooking. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Happy crafting. Bye.